So for this installation, there's gonna be two separate ways of mounting your cargo box and your R-Max. There's gonna be the center mounting as well as the side mounting. We're gonna show you both, but we're gonna start with the center mounting. So for the center mounting, you're gonna to wanna to grab both of the rear brackets, and these will go right here and line up with the factory threaded holes in the bed of the machine. Then we're gonna grab four of our M6 by 20 Allen headed screws. Start, we'll just take this, go right through the bracket, get it lined up with a threaded hole. We're just gonna kinda of hand tighten these down a little bit. We wanna leave them a little bit loose until we can confirm that our cargo box is in the correct location. And then we can go ahead and snug these down. We just kinda of wanna get them down to where the heads are touching, but we still have a little bit of movement. So it's, it's snug, but you can still rotate it around, move it around a little bit. We'll come over here to this opposite side, do the same exact thing. Then we're gonna take our cargo box, slide it up here into position. We're gonna take a thumb screw for each side. We're just mocking this up for right now. We just wanna make sure that everything lines up good. We're just gonna kinda of tighten one side up. We'll come over here. All right, so once we have it tightened up and our cargo box is looking good and straight, we're just gonna go ahead and carefully remove our thumb screws. We'll just sit them right here in the bed. We'll do that for both sides. Then we're gonna remove our cargo box. Move it to the side. And I'm just gonna put one hand on my bracket to make sure it doesn't rotate whenever I tighten it. Just gonna crank them down here, fully tighten them. go ahead and take this bracket here, front bracket out of the kit. Do the same thing, just run these down to where they touch. Still have some movement there. Let's take our cargo box again. Lay it in the place, we go through and put our screws in in the rear again. We'll put one in up here in the front. We'll put one in the back on this side. Once we have all of them started, everything's kind of snugged up. We know all the brackets are going to line up good. Going to remove all three of the thumb screws again. Grab our cargo box. Lift it straight out, right there to the side. Hold our bracket in place. And go ahead and fully tighten the hardware here. Take our cargo box, line it back up. Then you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a lock washer and then a flat washer on your thumb screw and then go in and fully install all the hardware for the thumb screws, fully tighten it. Once you've done that, you're good to go for the center installation. So now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to side mount your cargo box. You're gonna wanna get your crossbar, as well as one of your rear brackets, and then four Allen headed screws, and four nylock nuts. Then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna attach our crossbar to our rear bracket. Just pop all four of our Allen headed screws through. Then we'll take our nylock nuts and just go through, get all of those started on there.
and we'll just go through and we'll fully tighten each of our Allen headed screws. Then at this point you need to decide whether you're going to mount your cargo box on the passenger side or the driver's side. We're going to go ahead and mount ours on the passenger side, so we're going to use these two threaded holes right here. So we'll just line our bracket up, take our M6 Allen headed hardware, get it started. We're going to do the same thing here as we previously did going to run the hardware down to where it touches, but we still want to be able to move our bracketry around if we need to make any adjustments. Next we're going to take our cargo box, slide it into the machine, and we're going to come right here in the bed. You're going to have this little tab. Just take a screwdriver, pop it up, and take a T30 Torx. Go ahead and remove the Torx screw. Take our spacer provided in the kit, lay it right there, then take our bracket B. We're going to get it lined up. And then we're going to grab our thumb screws, making sure that we have them configured like so. So you have a lock washer first, flat. And we're going to go around and get all our hardware started, make sure everything lines up. And we can go ahead and fully tighten our front bracket here. And go through and remove all of our thumb screws again. cargo box and then we're going to go ahead and fully tighten the hardware for our rear bracket here. Put our cargo box in and we're just going to go through and install all of our thumb screws. And at this point we will be fully tightening them. Once you've went through, fully tightened all your thumb screws, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's cargo box. Now you're ready to hit the trail. If you have any questions about this cargo box or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call or check us out online. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.